to this one uh, how did you feel stepping back out on the ice at full speed yeah it was just it was good just to like shake the dust off and just get back into it get, get up to game speed and just be back with the fellas in the game tell me about how the game unfolds uh, for you and for the team as well this uh, this looked like a complete effort yeah I mean just I think we're just trying to focus on is just simplicity and just being very simple and like just knowing what each other's going to do. So if we can just complete that, then that's just our game. What can you say, Pontus Holmberg gets the goal. You get an assist on that one. Nice to get a point in the first game. What can you say about his play and what he brought to uh, your group tonight? Yeah, he definitely just brings a hard, just hard work, good skill, just a great stick. And, you know, just playing on his line, just a very smart guy. I always know where he's going to be, very predictable. And that's what you want out of a line mate. Learn anything about yourself while off with it with the injury? Yeah, I mean it's just it's not easy to go through that. Just taking time off from playing and having to just uh, be away from the team in that regard. But I mean, just trying to like do what I can to make sure I'm ready when I was healthy. John, that looked like a complete effort from your squad tonight. Uh, what was your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, again, we knew like they had a really good push early on, and they're a young team, and they're they're you know they're they're a proud group of guys over on the other side. Thought we weathered that all right, and then I thought we handled the, the next 50 minutes. Actually, I thought we played pretty well. So, again, it's just a building block for us to understand what we need to do to win hockey games, and then uh, move forward from that. A five forward unit on the power play. How does that come about? Well, we, you know, again, at the end, of the, we got to find some chemistry amongst our power play units. And I, we figured, you know, Bruiser likes to pass all the time. And what a great place to be on, on top because that's what those guys are for. Either you're passing it or you're just getting it to the net. So um, he has the poise to be able to play that position. So we, we figured we'd, you know, give it a chance. And um, they, they scored a big goal for us. And not expectedly, Abrazizi is the one who scores it uh, on the power play. But what did you see on that play from your perspective that uh, makes it a success? Well, what, what, when, when a team with their F1 gets up ice a little bit when they're in a 1-3, if sometimes if he can skate by that F1 and then one of our, our two-man drop guys can like cut it throughout, and then now we're still in the same look with our four across. So he did a good job identifying that and then makes it a four on three and they attack that middle ice and we're able to get through and it was a great play on his part. Nimala scores tonight, uh, the other night, uh, William Villeneuve, you're getting some good production out of your defense uh, by intention, by design? Well, we, we've been talking about getting our D to follow up. You know, you gap up offensively, defensively. You gotta, we gotta get our D involved. Um, and again, they, they're getting some chances and you know, sometimes you just, you know, that's why they're D, you know, you're not gonna score all the time, but when they can, when they can put, it's good for their confidence, and and he's being he's doing a really good job of uh, Topi about joining when it's there. So we want to keep encouraging them joining the joining the joining the rush, and then it's it's nice that he got rewarded. During the five on three, you had Miko Kokinen out there. I'm curious, what has he done this season to earn your trust, putting him out there in those situations? Yeah, I mean him and him and uh, Topi like have really grown a lot, not just from. Just their maturity and their trust, like they, you can put them out in the ice almost in all situations, and that's a that's definitely a luxury on our part. Um, it's really nice to see these guys getting those minutes that they may not get if you know we didn't have all those call ups. So he's he's really coming along nicely, and uh, again, hopefully he just continues to, to get better and better. Toby, you and Miko are having some uh, great success. Uh, what do you like about having Miko as a defensive partner? Uh, of course, it's it's fun to play with him. He's a great player, and it's easy easy play with him. So yeah, it's been good, good two games now what we have played together. How do you know when you know between the two of you when to activate, when to get involved in the offense? Yeah, it's kind of if Mika goes, I stay. If I go, he stays. So it's it's pretty simple. You guys had a lot of success against this team this year. Well, what did you do to have success against Grand Rapids? Well, I, I think we have played good against them. Of course, today wasn't the best start of the game, but uh, yeah, I think we have played good and find the ways to win those guys. You say it's so easy to play with Miko. Why is it so easy? He's a great player. He, he reads the game good and he's giving the easy pass to me or forward. So yeah, and he's also good in both ends, this on and offensive zone. So yeah. What did you see on your goal? Huh? What did you see on your goal? 
Uh, I joined Russ and I know Nick had a box, so I know he's going to pass to me. So.